Hello, it's some voiceover Michelle. So I'm just showing you the mini pan. I'm the mini pan, yeah. The pan and the mini oven I'm gonna use. So I'm just taking out a different pan and showing you that it fits inside. So I, and make sure you don't have any plastic on the top. So I preheat it for 10 minutes. And now I'm gonna start the baking. So, uh, also welcome to my kitchen. I mean, <laughs> okay, so I have a Red Bull. Yeah, so I'm just grabbing one egg and cracking it inside. But I kind of spilled the egg, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean that up. Um, I, I tried to show you, but <laughs> now I'm gonna do one. Well, okay, I'm gonna grab some milk and take out one third in a measuring cup and just pour one third cup milk into my bowl. And I whisked it for a little bit. And then I remembered that I need one third one third cup oil. I'm pretty sure that's canola oil. I'm not too sure. I just use that type of oil. I'm surprised they didn't spill that one. just whisking it all up and then I asked my mom what the next ingredient was because I forgot so then I realized it was sugar and I got some out so I also put one third cup sugar I worked really hard not to spill it <laughs> together then I don't remember <laughs> what the next ingredient is so I just <laughs> oh my brother came in and wanted to say hi but I told him he can't talk because I'm doing a voiceover then I went to go ask my mom what the next ingredient was because I forgot again <laughs> Oh, oh, my brother's back. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna, um, we're just gonna blur that out. I'm not blur. I'm probably just gonna put a sticker over it. Anyway. <laughs> um, now that's my mom. <laughs> she got self-conscious when she saw the So I was away for a little bit because I was talking to my family. Then I got some flour out and I got a cup, like a cup measurement out and I couldn't pour it so I got a spoon and I just dug it in. It kind of is a bad, sorry I just had a voice crack. It was kind of a bad angle but I couldn't move it because I was holding I, my hands were multitasking. So. By the way, um, this cake takes about 10 minutes to make and 25 minutes to bake. And then it takes about 30 minutes to fully, fully down. But that can vary depending on like how thick like the pan is and all those types of things. I just realized now that I spilled a little flour, but it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I showed you and I showed you the consistency. It should be not thick, but not like milk thin. 
and then I got some cocoa powder, and I'm gonna put in two spoonfuls of cocoa powder. That might have been too much, but I like my chocolate cake really chocolatey, so I added two. You could add one if you wanted just a slight chocolate, or you could add three if you want it really heavy chocolate, but I wouldn't really prefer or suggest really heavy chocolate because it's just like, it's very, um, what's the word? It's very strong. Um, so I would prefer two, but you could also do one and three. I feel like three is the maximum because four, I, it, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure it's just going to mess up like your consistency. So now we're going to take, I was going to do like butter, then I realized that's just too much of a hassle. So I got my oil out. Um, I'm pretty sure that's still canola oil, just in a different thing. But I got, um, what do you call those? I've always wondered what those are called. They're like kitchen, like paint brushes. So I just painted the sides. You really have to focus on the sides with oil because you're not putting parchment on the sides unless your parchment is like kind of big, but I would prefer, well not prefer, I would suggest that you just do parchment on the bottom and oil on the sides. So basically, I cut out a circle. In my parchment paper. And then I just kind of fitted it to my pan. So I realized it was kind of like heart shaped. So I just kind of cut for a circle. And then I stuck it in the pan. And I stuck it down with the oil. If it's too big, that's totally fine. Because the sides are going to need as much help as they can get. But you don't want it too, too big. So now I'm just going to take a spatula and pour my batter into my pan. So the consistency, like I said before, it shouldn't be like super thick to the point where you can poke it and like it's fine, like you won't get anything. But it also shouldn't be like water or like milk. It should be like, I feel like, maybe like a little like around the consistency of paint maybe I'm not too sure but now I'm just gonna switch the angle to show you the mini oven again so I put it in the oven and I set the oven to 15 because that's the max it can go to and then once 15 is done I'm gonna do another 10 and take it out of the oven and see it, I'm just going to test if it's fully baked, and if it's not fully baked, then I'm going to set it in for another 5 to 7 minutes, I would suggest. Um, but now I'm just washing the dishes, because whenever I bake, my mom doesn't wash the dishes for me. I have to. Washing spatula, um, not spatulas, washing, um, the whisks is so hard to me. <laughs> But I always go from easiest to hardest, except for the whisk. Um, so I always do like the measuring tools first, and then I do like the whisk and the spatula. I don't know what I did today, but I do the whisk and the spatula, and then um, because they're the grossest, and then I do the bowl because it's like like really the grossest. So I'm just dumping the extra batter on the materials on the, in the sink. Um, I'm going to clean it up later with a tissue. I actually already did that, but I did not film it because my mom's phone was dying, and I'm filming this on my mom's phone. So I just squeezed out the batter that went on the sponge, and I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> Basically, when I wash dishes, I always do soap on everything, and then water on everything. So, just, I'm just going to rinse it out because I don't want it to get, like, all weird or moldy. Can sponges even get moldy? I don't think they can get, like, water mold because... <laughs>
pulled it out out of the mini oven and I tested it for you guys again and it seems good. I hope you enjoy. I still have a little cake on my arm that I need to wash off, but that's okay. So, yeah, hope you enjoy. See you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.